There you go. I'm going to call you. I should be alone. I need to speak to someone. Okay. Because yeah. that's what makes my mind frame goes back. I'm, obviously, I'm sch schizophrenic bipolar, sir. I don't take medication. So right now, that's why I'm trying to stay. That's why I told them they need to hurry up when okay. I'm in this mind frame. Okay. So that when I speak to you, this is clear. I am. But you. another thing, what I'm about to do to you, the sheriff office, and you guys need to be honest with me. Okay. And I said, we're going to make this work and get this closure for this family. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to tell me what you have and what you don't have. That way I know if I have to go get it for you because these are my cousins. Okay. These are my two family, the ones that were in the house that day. Okay. Okay. They're yes. brothers. But the one of them, he's a, you think I'm a mental case. He's a severe mental case. He has documented being in Lincoln Regional Center, Psychiatric Hospital. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So All right, he I goes know. into it. Like even when y'all arrested me, I don't know if you were on the team. But he was acting up and they were pulling us out the house. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't want this to, you know. Okay. That's why I didn't want to talk down at the jail because there's family members on my dad's side because this is on my father's side. Okay. I get him. I get him. I get him on the stick. All right. I'm gonna make you a fresh pot too. That's not the best. That's what we got right now. But I'll make you a fresh pot. Here he is. All right. You good? I need to speak to her superiors about this. The ones that I know that can. He, okay. He's my boss. This is this is a man. The ones that I know that can make the. Nico, John Pankin. First of all, this is going to be a good night, but you're going to get everything that you need to get her family closure. Uh, but I want you to understand something, and I'm going to say this very clearly. I was not there. Only thing I was was for hearsay, not hearsay, but to say, like, okay, my religion of Katoni Asimbel, that's the underworld. He was like on the mummy, the black book. So this was them. My little cousins, the one that were in the house with me, that when I got to serve the search warrant. Right. This was their ritual of sacrifice. And when I'm going to give you from A to Z. This is not no goose chase. This is the real deal right here, which okay. which you people signed up for. So okay. Before we get any further, though, I need to read you this rights advisory form, okay? Okay. I never knew the who, the what, the when, the where. Only thing I gave was the intelligence. Okay. Describe this to me. What what this this nine millimeter? Describe it to me. Describe the weapon. Yes. It's a it's a high point. It's a high point. Believe it's a high point rifle. But it shoots nine millimeter slugs. And if you was to see this weapon, you would not believe that it was the murder weapon. Like I said, weeks prior to this, when I first got out, I gave intelligence. Like I said, I didn't know who was coming, what was coming, who was it going to be used on. All I did was give the intelligence. What kind of intelligence? Intelligence of when would be the best window of opportunity. What roles to take in. If you're going to do something way out west, they have cameras on the lights. Um, as you know, when you take Fort from uh, Military Ab, it takes you all the way out with no cameras, pitch black at nighttime. You realize that, right? So if you're coming from that crime scene, you can hit it straight out fort, straight out to fort and take fort all the way back to the military have all the way to the Walmart. That's off the right off the interstate. Ain't that Walmart right off the interstate? Off of military Ave? Yeah. Yeah. So my point is I things like that, the intelligence of what paths to take, you know what I mean? To avoid the cameras. Things of that nature. Bar closed at this time, bartenders, and you know, they're walked out to their cars, but after that, you know what I mean, do 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 you know what I mean? Because the, the specific point was to get there, get her to an isolated place. You see what I'm saying? To where, and obviously, when you're out there, only thing that's, like, especially off of Maple, once you leave off of Maple, everything is black. Everything's black out there. So, it was a perfect opportunity. And that's why y'all don't even understand, man. I don't understand how hard it is for me right now. Because right? I'm portraying my family. Do y'all understand it? This is not just me. I understand one family's getting closer, you know? But I'm literally betraying my family and my bloodline. After. You alright? You alright, man? You alright, man? That's what I don't understand, man. He said, all I, I was in the grass farm pressure, man. All I wanted was help from the people, man. Or off, or somebody might have yeah. them. You need more coffee or not? Yes, please. Okay. But I'm telling you right now, what I've just given you, 
I will testify to that. And this is the first time that I've ever even assisted law enforcement in my life. So any jury, any judge, any prosecutor will be, once I sit on that stand and testify to this, it's golden. Any jury is not going to look at me and say, oh, well, he's told before and he's done. With my history and my reputation, and this first time testimony of ever any system law enforcement, and everything that I'm saying is accurate. Okay. Uh, this is, you got to come to I understand. Because here, listen to me. But, what I'm but listen, listen, no, listen. I've listened to you for a long time. It's time for you to listen to me. Because like what you said, if you don't tell me what the heck happened out there, people are going to think the absolute worst. People are going to think the absolute worst. If it's a, if this is a robbery went bad, if this someone panicked, if this did something really stupid, now's the time. Because otherwise, you're right. They're going to look at Nico Jenkins as a flat, bloody killer. That's what's going to happen. Do you not realize I got Nico Jenkins? Do you not realize that? I got Nico Jenkins. I got you. What do you mean you got me? I got your DNA at the murder scene. I got your DNA in the car. Sir. I got the weapon. I got Nico Jenkins. I don't need to make it. I don't care about it. I just want other people that are involved in it. What the hell happened out there? And why? I already, you know, I know who. I know what. I know when. I know where. And then when I talked to you earlier, you were saying stuff about a carjacking. That woman's husband and children that woman's husband is grieving right now. This is not just some psycho killer that just wanted to go trophy. I'm documented psychiatrically disordered. Mm -hmm. I'm documented chemically imbalanced. This is a fact. Yeah. So my point is... We're well aware of that. My point is this, though. This family didn't deserve this. Right. This could have been prevented had it not been for the National Department of Corrections doing what they knew what they were supposed to have did. And they never gave me an opportunity. They never gave me an opportunity for treatment because I wouldn't take the medicine. Mm 